everyone. I'm sure you're doing great out there. I'm Simeon Grace, and you're welcome to Gary's Tutorials. We're going to be making a beautiful Ankara wrap skirt, and I use five years of Ankara to make mine. Yes, five years. And um, the style is not limited to Ankara fabric alone because I've tried it on Ankara and also a plain fabric, and both are sweet. We'll be needing the length and the waist measurement. That's all. If this is your first time on this channel, it's the subscribe button. You also need to turn on your notification bell to get notified each time I upload a new video. So let's move to the cutting table. Welcome back. First, we are going to write out our measurements, which are just the length and the waist measurement. Length is 42 and the waist is 30. Now, I'm going to break this down because we're going to be cutting out single flare and we are cutting out, cutting out three, three single flare. Now, because we are cutting out three single flare and our waist is 30 inches, first, we're going to divide the waist into front and back. That's 15 and 15, which will give us 30. Now, the extra fabric, that's the extra flare, is also going to be 15 inches to make it um, three flare. So all the total measurement is 45 inches. So one flare will be 15, which is the front, the back 15, then the extra 15, that's 45, and the full length is 42. So I'm just going to fold my single flare right away. Having done that, since um, our measurement is 15, so it's going to be 15 divided by 2, and that will give us 7.5 inches. Um, you can get your 7.5 inches here first, then you measure, measure to the point where you mark. Whatever measurement you have, you're going to take it round to have um, equal measurement. Um, I have a tutorial on how to cut different types of flare on All Africa TV. I'm still looking forward to having another one done here on Carrie's Creations. So you can check it out to have a clearer understanding of this part. So now I'm going to confirm that I have 7.5 inches. That's good. Then from there, we can go on and um, measure our length of 42 inches. So from the chalked part, you take the length of 42 and you measure it round. Now the my folded fabric um, will not go round. It will not be able to contain the length but I wouldn't mind. I'll just go on and cut the length that I need so I'll be I'll need to join another fabric to complete the remaining parts of my flare so just make sure you get the length if your length is not up to 42 then you're fine but if it is longer or is like 42 I'm sure you need to do the same that's joining to the fabric to complete the part of your flare but don't worry about that just continue with your length So like I said, here is my first um, single flare. We are going to be cutting out three. So this is one. We'll cut out the other two flares as well. So now to the base of my flare, I'm just trimming out the, um, the edges, the, um, the edge of my fabric then I'll cut the remaining fabric to complete the flare. Okay. 
And when doing that, you need to be on the watch out for different parts of your fabric. Make sure you have the right side and the right side, then the left and the left hand side. The same way you have it on your main flare, so you don't um, make any mistake. So here I'm trying to make sure the chalk appears on the fabric so it will be easier for me to trace out. So we are done with one flare. You can just place this to cut the second and the third. Like I said, we, are ne um, we need to cut out three flare. So I already cut out one, and all I did here was just to place the fabric to cut the second and the third. So here is one of the flare, and we're going to be joining one on the left and one, the other one at the right hand side. The next thing to do is to measure out um, the pocket, the pocket mouth. So here at the waist is two inches and the length of six inches. Now you can always go with any um, measurement and design of your choice. Your pocket design as well as the measurement. Um, so here is my two and my six inches. So like I said, the pocket mouth and also the design can be any um, design and measurement of your choice. So this is how I want mine to come out. So this is on the left hand side for me. I'm cutting out just this on one flare. Now on the second flare, the pocket mouth is going to be on the other side. So all you need to do, you can just place the already cut fabric and use it to um, trace it out. So now that that has been done, let me quickly show us how it's going to be. The one on the right hand side is at the top but while the one on the I mean the one on the left hand side is um, at the top while the one on the right hand side is underneath so these two now are the fabric the two fabric at the front so the other flare the remaining one flare will be um, the, the back fabric now we're going to cut um, the pockets for me, I am going with um, 12 by 12. You can go with 12 by 12, 10 by 10. You can measure 11 by 11, even 13 by 13. Or you change it to like 10 by 14. Or just go with the measurement of your choice. Next thing to do is... Um, here for the pocket, I place the right side facing the right side. Make sure the right side is facing the right hand side. So all you need to do is just place one of your flare, place the, the pocket mount that you have cut out and trace it out on the pocket. Just like this. Then you can iron your stay of about one inch or two inches wide on the pocket area before we move to the joining. So here are my pockets, one for the right hand side, the other for the left hand side. 
Next, we're going to move to cutting out the band or belt, whichever one you would like to call it. Since my Ankara fabric is um, by 45, I'll just go ahead and fold 2.5 inches by 45. So I'm folding 2.5 inches by 45. The length is 45. So now I'm going to cut to cut three of that. After cutting the three, I'll make sure I join and then I'll have a very long belt. Yes. So just um, cut out three of this by 45. You cut the first, the second, the third, join the three together. So it will be as long as um, you can, you have it then. It will be easier to wrap around the waist. Right now, the first thing is to join the base, you know, all three that we have cut. I'm going to join it to the flare. So here is the second. Just make sure you join um, all three. All the three flare, make sure they are intact. So that's the first thing to be done. All right, um, now we're going to place the, the pockets on the lace fabric. And we're going to trace out the shape. Next is to notch and um, dot stitch on the lining. If you dot stitch on, I mean, on the pocket, if you do that, it's going to relax the, the pocket and allow it to lay frame on that, the, the flare. So this is how it's going to come out. After that has been done, you can just use your pin to hold it down or you run a straight um, sewing on it to secure that before you move to the other side of your flay. Now we're going to close um, the base of our pocket. Just like this. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And of course, the, out, the outer part of it. 
So here is um, the left hand side of the pocket. I'm going to place the back lace, that's the one that has um, no pocket mouth. I'm going to place it on it so I can close up the side. So we're going to close up just one side all the way down. Now let's see what this looks um, like. Yeah, we already have um, the front and the back panels put together on one side. And of course, here it is. So we're going to move to the other part of our plate. The same process, the same thing we've done on the first flare is what we're going to be repeating here. Place your, place your pockets on the, the flare pattern, run your sewing, notch the fabric, top stitch on the pockets, and hold it down with your pin. So let's do that. Now that that has been done, we are going to place um, the other flare, the other side of our flare, that's the back panel, we're going to place it on the other side as well to join. So now we have all three flares joined um, together. The front, the front um, flare is one side is joined to the back panel. Then the second one, which is the second flare, which is uh, meant for the front, is joined to the other side of the back panel as well. All right, let's see. Here it is. One side to one side of the front play. That's one has a pocket. It is joined to 
one side of the back pattern the other side with pocket is joined to the other side of the back pattern so we have all the three put together the next is to move to fixing um, the band So before we fix the band, of course, you can go ahead, um, fold the base of the flare. You also need to fold the two edges, the two edges of um, them. That's the front flare, the two front flare. You need to fold the edges and also the base of your flare. So go ahead and do that. So now that we are done with that, here now we need to get the middle part of our flare and notch. Get the middle, that's the center of all the three flare put together, fold into two to get the middle. Also, our band fold as well to get the center. Now we are going to measure, putting the two center together, we're going to, to trace it out first on the right hand side and then from the center to the left hand side. So on the right side or either the left side, either ways, you're going to notch the end part of your flare, all right? You notch the end part on the belt, on the belt, that's, I mean, on the band, not on the flare. Just get the end part of it from the center and notch on the, on the belt. You do the same to the other side. Once that is done, we're going to fold the belt like this. Make sure you bring the center. Here is the center, the notched part, and we're going to trace out um, where we just notched. So we're going to start from the notched part, we're going to start joining from there to the very end of our belt. All right, so now you can turn it out. Like I said, from the end part of your flare, trace it out on the band and trace. From the end part of your flare, trace it out on the band and notch. Do the same on the other side of the band. All right, now that that has been done, what we're going to do is start our joining. You can see the notched part. So we're going to start our joining from the center, the center of the flay and the center of the band. We are going to bring the two together, joining from the inside, starting from the inside. That's the center, the middle of both the belt and the flay. So I'm going to join from that center to the left hand side and also to the right hand side, starting from the middle, I mean, from the inside. We're going to start our joining from the inside. So 
So we are done with that. The next thing to do is do the same on the other side. So whatever you've done on the right hand side, do the same on the left hand side. Then after that, we are going to be top stitching on the front part. You know, we started joining from the inside. Do not forget um, to subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell to get notified um, anytime I upload a new video. Remember, all of our tutorials on O Africa TV still remains, but are our videos are now uploaded here on Paris Creations. You can also leave your comments in this in the comment section. If you have questions, you can do that at the comment section. Just drop your questions, leave your comments. I'll answer all of your questions. Next, which is the last thing to do, is to top stitch. Just like this, we're going to top stitch on the outer part of our fabric. Thanks for watching the tutorial. I'm sure you enjoyed the class. Go ahead and make yours. Do not forget to leave your comments in the comment section. I'm always there to answer you. Bye.